And it is almost done. Two and one and zero. Oh, wow, it jumped us up a ton there. Holy, we're over 50% now. Wow, new viable genome. Release a new herbivore into an enclosure. I want to observe these animals in the wild. I mean, as wild as we will allow. Uh-oh, Dr. Wu, do you really want me to release the Triceratops into the raptor den? Maybe this is why we're going to set the raptors into another enclosure. I'm like, he's doing it to study. He's doing it for science here. With the synthesized two Triceratops here, so 56% right there. Uh, we have only 31% on Parasaurolophus, Dilophosaurus 26%, Shrutheomimus is what, 42%, and then, uh, yeah, see, Velociraptor, well, yeah, look at that, Velociraptor, he was our highest genome right there, but now he's down to second place, because Triceratops is at 56%, so that's really good right there, but, speaking of, uh, that, let's assign a scientist here, so we're going to be using, who, we could almost just use one person at once here, but a Wolowo, kind of want to give you a, oh, yeah, well, Papakosta as well, yeah, let's give them a little bit of a rest here real quick, just because I don't want them to get too worked up or whatever there. I forgot what the bad side effects or whatever if that was. Uh, if they get too unrested. <laughs> right, so let's give them a little bit of a rest right there. Eh, a little bit. Like two minutes 30 right there. But at least in the long run, it'll be good, right? So let's get them some rest. And yeah, already three of our scientists are still resting right now. So those will be ready here in just a bit. They'll be able to help us out with uh, synthesizing the Triceratops, right? So don't want to worry too much about that. And looks like three of these over here are almost done resting. So... Boom! Resting completed for them. Awesome. So start synthesizing Triceratops here. Assign a scientist. So how are we, who are we going to use for this? I guess we could use Coley. Yes, perfect. And Armstrong. Okay, cool. So that gets us up to six out of six. Awesome. And then we have another empty hatchery bay here. I don't know. I'm, I kind of want to keep that empty because it says they want two Triceratops. I don't know how many Triceratops like eggs or whatever we can actually get out of the synth synthesis or whatever right here. So speed through this with about 20 seconds left and we'll be able to see how many eggs we'll get. That way I don't waste any money or waste any scientists like unrest or whatever, right? So, boom. There you go. Ready for incubation. Looks like that was successful. Viable eggs won, though. So, it looks like we are going to have to do a second one, right? So, that kind of sucks. Sign scientist to this. And we need six of that welfare there. Okay, so we need Armstrong on his own again and then Wells. Okay. Start task there. Boom. Okay. So, we have that Triceratops going. I don't know if we have the ability to do a second one at the same. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Boom, and Medita. Cool. So let's get a second Triceratops synthesized, or a set of Triceratops, or a batch of Triceratops synthesized. Hopefully it's a successful batch, and we don't get literally zero eggs out of it, just like the first time with the Raptors, right? But about a minute left on that Triceratops, and the synthesis over here on the second set is done. Ready for incubation. Okay. Viable eggs five. Wow. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we only need one of them, though. So no traits manifested uh, so plus the 30 social week. I guess, you know what, maybe it makes sense to get weak here just so we could have the Velociraptors attack them a little bit easier so Wu can study it, right? So I guess we'll do that one. We only need one more, but uh, the staff are busy right now, so we're not able to do anything just yet. A couple of them are almost done resting, so they're going to be... Yep, boom, okay, resting is completed. Select the eggs. It was that one, yes. Science oh man, we don't have enough uh, scientists there. Well, the first batch of Triceratops eggs are almost done. Boom. They're ready for release now, so let's release the dinosaurs into the same enclosure as the raptors. Remember, Henry Wu wanted this. He, he's going to study what happens when they're in the wild. Let's see what happens when they're in the wild. With what, seven raptors and one Triceratops? Outnumbering the Triceratops? Crazy. Now, should we even bother giving him some ground fiber? I don't know. <laughs> like, how long is he going to survive here? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, we still need a second. Uh, you know what? Maybe we will give him some. Just while he's alive, might as well make him happy. Oh, wow. There's a lot of other stuff that he wants, too. Wow. He wants even more for. Oh, well, he's going to discover more forest here in just a bit. But uh, ground fiber, ground leaf, ground fiber. Okay, yeah. Boom. There you go. More ground fiber there. More ground fiber over here. Boom, boom. Just kind of scatter all over the place, right? So there you go. And then, uh, yeah, he's going to discover that water there in just a moment. And then he's going to discover all the... Yeah, see, look at that. He's starting to discover some forest right now, which is good. Uh, but he seems like he's keeping his distance from all the other uh, tra or raptors. And there's one there in the background there. Fending off Velociraptor pack. Where? Oh, there. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Whoa, look at him latching on. Holy heck, that's crazy. Look at that. Wow. Hopefully Dr. Wu is studying this because we only have one of them here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of... Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Triceratops just knocked him out and just went flying there? Man, this is crazy. It's a two-on-one. It's not as bad as the seven-on-one I talked about just a minute ago, but still. I don't know. 
Should I bring the, the, the medical unit over here to help him out? Maybe, I don't know. You know what? Oh, yep, there you go, he's dead. <laughs> and they're all feasting on his dead body. Golly. At least we're over on a remote island, so we don't have to worry about ethics and stuff, right? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to have to select two dinosaur eggs this time around, right? So, uh, aggressive. And then uh, I guess we'll, we'll just select another regular one right there, okay. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get the mission done right there, unfortunately, but... Let's get, uh, you. Oh, I'm trying to get... I don't know. I, I guess we'll use it. Yeah, let's use him again. Like, his unrest is starting to build up there. I don't like that, but there you go, boom. So, uh, what do we do now? I, I, I have to get rid of the dead dino. <laughs> I can't just leave it there, right? Is there a raptor stuck under him? Oh, no, he's easy. He's eating right now. Okay. But yeah, look at that. I'm like, that's just nature right there. You can't... Oh, you can't predict... what? You can't predict that. <laughs> you literally can. I'm like, that's why we did it in the first place, so uh, we can study. But we only had one out in the wild right there. We, we needed two of them. Oh, and he still counts over there. Even though he's dead, it still says one out, too. But I, I wonder if we... uh. Demolish. No, let's get the trans transport team there. Yep. I wonder if we take the dead dino out of the park. Is that number going to go back down to zero? I don't know. Let's see. So let's speed through over here. 45 seconds left on the two triceratops we're currently uh, incubating right now. And removing that triceratops right there. And wow, that guy is completely, his belly is completely full. He just passed out from eating, just like after Thanksgiving dinner, right? And the triceratops is technically out of park and it's still at one out too, so I guess we're good. I I'll still release both of them at the same time. Well, let's do it anyways. For Dr. Wu. Release the two Triceratops. Boom. Let's see how much longer these ones are going to survive compared to the first one. Hopefully a little bit longer, right? Long enough for Dr. Wu to study them, right? So many moving parts, I want to make sure we don't lose sight of our reason for being on the island in the first place. The dinosaurs. Their lives come by our hands, and now they rely on us for their continued existence. This is our responsibility, and one we cannot take lightly. I want you to be sure that our dinosaurs are as comfortable as possible. All right, well... Uh, I guess that means putting them in different... Uh, I don't know. Can they... There is a cohabitation issue right there. Obviously, they can't... Yeah, see, it's shared with Velociraptor, Ankylosaurus. Yeah, see, maybe once that one Velociraptor gets out of the territory zone, because there's one right there, maybe their uh, happiness will jump up a little bit, you know? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but... Yeah, they still want even more forest over here. But, uh... Yeah, see, that? Oh, was that a goat right there? Yeah, that's a goat right there. There's still a Velociraptor right there. I don't know if that Velociraptor, is that the, no, that's not the, the pack leader there or anything like that. And there's another Velociraptor over there hunting. Can I see him? I want to see him hunting the goat. Where is it? Oh, he just pounced on the goat. Wow, look at that. Ah, oh, I didn't get to zoom in on it quick enough, but you still saw it right there. That was crazy good. Hold on, hold on. What's going on over here? There's something happening over here? Oh, I thought the trikes were fighting that one lone Velociraptor right there, but thankfully not. And there's another, hey, look at that, another goat right there. <laughs> and, the, okay, the Velociraptor, the Velociraptor just ran out. Is he still in the territory of this, uh... He's about to he's about to run away from the or he's about to exit. The, oh, well, there's another one right there though, man. Okay, hopefully they both leave the territory. That one's going for a drink, but he's still technically in the territory. That one's right on the edge, and these two are playing around right now. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, that one's still here. He's hunting down the other. Oh, he's hunting down the other goat. Hold on. Look at this. Oh, that was amazing. Seeing that up close, awesome. Now hopefully that Velociraptor leaves because I don't want to have to build another enclosure. Although I, I probably will have to here in just a minute. But at the same time, that's going to be so much more effort and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, right? Yeah, I, I might I might just start building another uh, enclosure for the... Uh, because we have so much room, right? I'm like, it, it doesn't... Yeah, so look at all this. Oh, a fight. Oh, oh, wait. What in the world? Well, it's a friendly fight, isn't it? It's between the two trikes. I hope it's a friendly fight. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa! Well, uh, hopefully they don't kill each other because I kind of need them to survive, but... Then again, if they both die, I, I guess my average comfort rating will shoot up because these guys will both be dead. <laughs> and the ranger is just like, oh, yep, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to end up in. Oh, oh, an undiagnosed ailment, probably an injury. Hold on, let's get the MVU over here. How do I do that? Here you go. Get you. Add task. Scan you. Boom. All right, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to make another enclosure for them. We have the room. Look at all this heckin' space over here. And this is perfect for them, too. Look at this. I, I guess we can get it. I don't think we have a multiple Hammonds, can we? I, I don't know if we can. Oh, yeah, you can, can't you? Hold on, where in the world is that? 
response facility. It's enclosures, isn't it? Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. So I guess we could build another hatchery right here. And then we could start, uh, we could use this for herbivores and whatnot, right? So, uh, yep, there you go. So let's do that. And then, uh, connect up this path. Thankfully, it's being powered by the other generator, so we'll have to worry about that, right? So let's get the gate. I guess we'll put it here. Because there's the rangers over there. I guess we'll put it right here. And actually, yeah, hold on. Where is the actual, where's this connect up? Oh, it's all the way back here. Ooh, okay. So I guess we'll do this. And we'll kind of, uh, scoop around and there you go, right on the edge of all this open area here, you know? There you go. Alright, you can kind of see the terrain there as well. Wow, it goes all the way back to there, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. Let's do this. This is a huge enclosure. Look at this. It's crazy. We could always modify it a little bit later if we really need to, right? But right now, boom, there you go. That's perfect. That is amazing. So there you go. Now we have a gate. And we have an injury over here. Yeah. Whoa, what was happening with him? Oh, the rat! Oh, the raptor's going to get him! Oh, he's getting surrounded. He's getting pounced on. Uh oh, we're going to lose another trike. Ah oh, man, he was already weakened. Oh jeez, and the vehicle's under threat Ooh. over here as well. The MVU's getting attacked. Everything's getting attacked by the raptors. We need to make a special. Oh, he died. The trike died again. Man. Ah, all right. Well, how many? Uh, we we have more. Egg. Yeah. Oh wait, no, the eggs are gone now. Okay. I guess it just kind of got rid of the extra eggs that we had from that batch, right? Or whatever that was. <laughs> All the vehicles under threat again. Whoops. Hold on, hold on. You know what? We really need to move. <laughs> let's get the heck and uh, let's get you guys. Add task for the capture team. Right in the middle of the heck and lake. Uh-oh, he's going. He's literally looking at three raptors up there. Another raptor there. Another one behind him. He is so dead. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, well, they're all drinking water right now, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Transport team. Oh, he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Boom. Collect the asset. Where's transfer team at? They need to be here like right now. Oh, and there's another dead one right here too. So, uh, remove you. <laughs> Hold on. Where in the world? Oh, they're right there. Okay, okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. He's knocked out. He's vulnerable. Oh my gosh. The raptors aren't taking advantage. Dr. Wu and Dr. Hammond would both like us to increase the diversity of animal species in the park. And then construct a ride where they can be viewed. Make it something impressive. All right. Uh, but I'm like, the <laughs> number of species <laughs> is at two right now, but it's going to go down to one because both trikes are heckin' dead. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> but, uh, oh, wait, no, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that one's still being moved. Yeah, he's still alive. He's just knocked out. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we still technically have two, so. Uh, we're going to have to go on expeditions, actually. Oh, we were out of power. Hold on, hold on. Is this, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Resupply, fill it all the way up. Boom. Because we don't want to have these, these these fences over here out of power or else they're going to break out easily, right? So don't want to do that. But let's go to the expedition map and uh, let's see. Should we do minus? That's, that's currently at 42%. So that's going to be an easy one to get over the 50% viability. So let's definitely get through the minus. Let's get you going. Uh, let's see. We only need one. Uh, Armstrong is already like really overworked. Let's use you, Coley. And then we'll, we'll have Armstrong and one other person taking a rest over here at the staff center. So let's get you guys. Let's see. Uh, Wells. Rest and Armstrong rest. Yeah, see, he was at three bars. Now he's back down to zero. Awesome. And sure, enough dinosaurs are viewable from the park tour. Okay, so yeah, park tour. Where is that? I'm, I'm going to have to research that, aren't I? Attractions. Uh, where is that at? Guest attraction. Park tour. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, so we have to research that. Uh, open a research node. So that is right there. And we can research it right now. Okay, cool. Boom. And how are we going to do this? We need five. And we could use Papa Costa on our own. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I already have someone out for an expedition. I was about to say, aren't I going to use her for an expedition? Oh, wait, did I? Has Do we have an expedition right now? Tour rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lance Formation site. Hey, yeah, someone's already doing that. Okay, cool. So, we have a lot of things going on right now. That's good. But uh, we do have one trike over here. Just got landed over here. That's good. Check him on you. Yeah, you're lonely. Yeah, you know what? Uh, everything has force, force, ground fiber, all that kind of stuff. Let's get you a friend. I don't know. How, how, how many do you want? Do you want one? Just one? Seems like you just want one more, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, see... Population's at one, and it seems like he's fine at two. So let's get a second one over here. This is the size a dinosaur. What about genome requiring? Okay, well, yeah, I don't think we're able to do this just yet, right? Uh, yeah, we're not able to do this just yet. Let's wait for the scientists to rest up. So speed through that, because we only have five, uh, whatever the gear icon is, <laughs> compared to the six that we actually need to synthesize another set of dinos, right? Uh, might want to wait until we actually have the shrew, the Amimus genome back, or uh, fossils back, get their genome over a 50%. Then we'll have a viable genome for the Truthia Mimes. We'll have them cohabitating with the Triceratops. And then uh, that'll be three out of four right there. Go to functioning part tool. That's going to be a little bit later. We're currently researching that, right? Yeah, there it is right there. It's almost done. Boom. 
part tour or tour rides is unlocked now and the expedition team is back so how do i pull that back up again New expedition map okay well let's just do this there you go so we have oh wow yeah yeah we have a triceratops stuff over here too yeah don't want to forget about that right but uh, was this one yeah that's for shrew the omimus cool and this one's another one for shrew the omimus that's for trike that's just going to give you money so yeah let's just use both of these and i guess we'll get money out of that and that and that okay there you go i can't do anything else but uh science scientist who are we going to do for this we need uh three so that would be you a oh, whoa, whoa whoa so there you go start task and i guess we'll just wait for him to process all those fossils get the shrew the omimus genome all the way over 50 percent, which shouldn't be too hard we have an amber after all and he's already at 40 something percent so i need to process that one amber and then we're good to go uh scientists are nice and recovered from their rest so that's good then uh, I guess we'll just start building the functioning part tour. Maybe we'll have it start over here and then go over to the, uh, the vlog. I don't know. Where should we start it? How, how, how big is that? Here's a part tour. Hmm. I guess. Should it go there? I, I, I guess. I don't know. Because the rangers are kind of in the way there. But too close to the dinosaur. Uh, we'll worry about that a little bit. I, 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 I could put it here. Then it can kind of go around. And then it could, go, it could go from that to there. And then it go around here. Then go all the way back, and then how's it connect back up from there? I don't know. See, I want I want it to be somewhat out in the open and whatnot. And probably makes more sense to put it over here. You know, the starting point of it. Yeah, I should probably have it start over here, right? Yeah, maybe. Probably makes more sense. We have a lot more room over here and everything too. So there you go. So we have the park tour right there. We'll have to have this set up we'll have to go from here all the way around, and then we can't build it too close to the Hammond right there. So we'll have to make it go all the way up here. Actually, you know what? Let's make it go all the way around here first. Then uh, we could have it kind of go through the middle bit right here because it's going to have visibility as like a circle, right? So it's not going to matter too much. And then we'll go through here, go around, and then can wrap around and then end right here, I think. I think that's how it could work, right? So a tour trail. We'll worry about that here in just a moment. Let's get the pathway set up over here, though. Connect it up to all these tree branches we built earlier on, right? So there you go. And is that powered? Oh, yeah, it's powered because of the, uh, the electrical fences and whatnot. Okay, cool. So once this is done, we'll actually start building the tracks and I'll speed through that a little bit. And let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to modify the gates a little bit. But there you go. New viable genome for the Shrew the Amimus. OK, cool. So let's get that set up over here. The scientists are now nice and red. Oh, wow. He jumped up. That's 77 percent. That's good. Kind of want to get some more scientists to continue processing the uh, Triceratops right there. He's at 56 percent right now. It's probably fine right now. I don't think we have to worry too much about that, but I guess we could try it anyways. I don't know how to pull that up on its own, but. There it is right there, fossils. Yeah, see, we have a few Triceratops things right there. Science Scientist 2, 3, a Wola. Okay, yeah, take care of that again. Boom. Shouldn't be too big of a task for you. And then uh, I guess we'll get the Shrew the Omimus. Actually, I don't know. Do we have enough scientists to take care of that right now? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. So we have, a oh yeah, we only need one. So Armstrong, faster incubation. Yeah, you know what? Let's use you for faster incubation with the Shrew the Omimus going. Cool. So we're synthesizing them, but yeah, we're going to definitely uh, mess around with this gate a little bit right here because it's not much room for the park tour to kind of move around there, you know? So how am I going to do this? Should I have placed it over here? I probably should have. Can I move that? Oh, Shrew the Amimus batch is complete already. Wow, that was amazing. That was really fast. Can I actually just straight up move this? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll see like right here. It makes more sense. Let's do it about right here. Then we can move the pathway a little bit, right? So, let's see, uh, yeah, see, the terrain kind of got hecked up right there, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. <laughs> Maybe never, who knows? Let's see, let's get this pathway set up over here and connect it up like so. Cool, all right. So, uh, let's see, they have another, yeah, they have another pathway over here. Let's take care of that, because it looks kind of random. <laughs> so there you go, get rid of that. Then we'll start building uh, tracks and whatnot over here, but we do have the a shrew, a the Omimus ready to go. So select eggs, get all those going. And we have enough scientists to, to process all that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just need one wellness. So speaking of wellness, let's use wells. So boom. There you go. Select wells. Start the task for $90,000. And we're going to have three Gallimimuses here in just a minute, which is going to be great. Part tour is not done quite yet. And it is done. There we go. Okay. Let's start building the track now. So how are we going to do this? Edit the tour route. So what is this? That's tour track. Concrete tour track. Ooh. Hold on. A dinosaur has been successfully raised to maturity and is ready for release. Okay, cool. So I guess what we could do is just... Should I go... Should I start that away? Ah, you know what? Yeah, let's go this way. Start going around. Yeah, I see you can't build it too close to the Hammond right there. I'll have to have it go around. Because you need to remember there is a, a visibility, like a circle, around the actual track itself. So 
we'll have to cover all ground here with the actual track. Uh, then there's the gate there, so I don't want to build it too close there. And then we'll kind of build it here in the center. And uh, is there a way to turn off? I don't know if that. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to turn off curved mode for this at least, right? <laughs> so that kind of sucks. So uh, there you go. And then we'll have to connect it up. Yeah, through this. Going through all the trees. Going through this. Cool. Then we'll go around the Velociraptor's little drinking pond. Like so. Awesome. And then we'll go back. How do I do that? Why can't I do- Oh, too oh, okay. Hold on, there's a Velociraptor in the way. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Then we'll go back. And we'll need to do this. Right there. And then we'll need to wrap right back around to there. Okay, cool. So we have a closed track right there. Build a functioning park tour. That is done. That's great. Let's actually release those Gallimimuses. Are the, uh, trikes? Did he, uh, did he process the trikes? Let me check. Or the, uh, the, the fossils for the- Yep, they're up to 75%. Awesome. Okay, so let's actually get scientists- to so we need six for this so coley yeah we could use you and then we just need one so boom there you go armstrong start task on that and let's release those three shrew the omimus whoa look at those guys <laughs> oh yeah we could we could probably have changed their cosmetic like their skin and whatnot have different colors and whatnot i didn't look into that i probably should have honestly but whatever Oh, oh, whoa, 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 there's the tour, they're part tour right there, stopping the tour in its tracks, literally. <laughs> but, uh, missing forest, okay. Yeah, their population is good at three, that's good. Ground leaves, hopefully we're going to run into some ground leaves here in just a minute, though, but, uh, yeah, they're starting to discover all the land around here. Yeah, see, this is all, this is bare, I, oh, yeah, I never did add a, uh, I'm probably getting comments about this, never had a, uh, a ranger post here, so, you know what, let's do this. And we'll, I might as well place a second one all the way over here. Uh, cover all the way about to here-ish. Yeah, about right there. So there you go. Noise. So, let's get the rangers to assign themselves to these posts. There you go. Cool. Oh, whoops. I selected the heckin'. There you go. Selected the actual shrew the Omimus himself, right? But uh, let's actually get you missing forest. Okay, so yeah. I'm like, they're just now, they're starting to discover forest. I, I kind of want to play some forest around there, but I'm like, their forest is right on the edge. See that? I guess we could just add some ground leaf, and they'll probably be good to go, right? Add that right here to the edge. There you go. There you go. Even more good. They have a lot. Of, yes, they're starting to discover this. That's good. You can see the park tour going around with the uh, the, the, the trucks, the SUVs, whatever those are. Get some uh, leaves here. Oh, a little bit of forest. Yep. There you go. Cool. Yeah, we just kind of have to wait for them to discover that little little bubble around them to actually start discovering all this forest around here. Yeah, see, look at that. So now their forest is good. Just need them to start discovering some of the ground leaf, and I guess we'll be good to go, right? I mean, I'll replace some of the force I just placed down with some more ground leaf, so. There we go, yeah, look at that. It's up to 17% now. Some more in their actual bubble itself. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that, they're good. Perfect, awesome, 100%. Great stuff there, you guys, nice. So we have three species out of four. And sure enough, dinosaurs are viewable from the park tour, okay. Oh, 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 fence broken, what happened, what happened? What happened, pause the game. Oh, yeah, the trike is starting to break out. Man, I knew that was going to happen. We didn't have the trike ready. Oh, do we even have one processing right now? Or incubating or whatever? Yeah, we do. Yeah, ready for incubating. Okay, yeah, let's hurry up with this. Let's get just one. Let's just, let's get this one right here. Um, who are we going to use? We need, uh, let's go and get some unrest right there, but yeah. Let's use you and you. Sure, there you go. Start that task. And then uh, we're going to have the unpause. I believe the rangers are coming over here, or the, uh, the, what do you call them? Whatever team that is, they're coming over here, right? Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Rangers. Capture team, that's what they're called. Okay. And hopefully they come over here, but rangers. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we don't even have a, uh... Oh, what in the world is that? I guess I'll resupply some of that. There you go. <laughs> but, the uh, rangers, we need you to go over here, add task, fix the fence that broke down from the trike. Oh, there, okay, there, the, oh, is he, bro he's breaking back in. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, you probably thought he was like still locked in, but oh wait, no, no, wait, what happened? I don't know. It's like, can't, oh, oh, okay, he's getting shot at by the trank darts. That's good. I'm like, I think that's because the rangers didn't have a uh, a ranger poster, but they do now. Okay, there you go. He's knocked out. Let's get the transfer transport team back into here. Just drop him off like right there. That's pro that's probably fine. So there you go. Cool. And then uh, here in just a moment. Actually, you know what? You know what? Can I change that? I don't think I can. Man. Ah, oh, yeah, I can't take, I can't, uh, cancel that, unfortunately. I was about to say, I kind of want to move the trike, like, over here, that way he's close to his friend. Whenever he comes out of the, 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 what do you call it, the Hammond? No, no, man, I, I hesitated right there to make sure I didn't call it the Hammond, I still did the hatchery. <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah, he's going to take a little while to meet up with a friend, his friend there, unfortunately. So I just want to stop. But see if the Rangers fix this properly. Okay, successfully raised to maturity right there. So are they going to fix this? Okay, good. They did. Awesome. Okay, so let's actually release the other uh, trike. And let's see what else we can uh, see. Release. Yeah, release dinosaurs. Definitely have to see the expedition center, see what other dinosaurs we could actually start excavating for and start actually incubating. More preferably herbivores, so we could put them in this enclosure, right? But there's another majestic triceratops. Wow, look at this view, just looking at him through the blades of grass and stuff. This is so cool. Boom, there you go, cool. So now we have uh, two of them. He's missing ground fight. He'll discover that here in just a minute. Kind of sucks though, the terrain here. Every time they come out of the heckin' hatchery, they have to climb up a hill, but <laughs> what are you going to do about that, right? So there's the other one all the way over there. I don't know, should I knock this one out and just kind of bring him all the way over there? I don't know. Because <laughs> they're both like really, really sad. I, I don't want them breaking out again, you know? So maybe I'll get, just because this one's a little bit closer, maybe I'll add task, maybe I'll tranquilize you, <laughs> knock you out, and then bring you closer to your friend over there. What's that say? Of course, yes, the stats, is he outside of range of the ranger? He is outside, man. See, I knew there's a lot of blind spots here. Uh, should I get another ranger post? And uh, At least this would cover this corner over here, but golly, there's a lot. There you go. Get the rangers back over here. Add task, assign to post. There you go, cool. So now they're assigned to all of those posts right there, so that's good. Oh, wait, do I even have, oh, well, never, I was about to say. <laughs> do I even have to knock that one out because he's getting kind of close to the other one, but no, there you go. So let's put him over here on this side of the track. Cool. Now, is he actually happy with everything but the co or uh, the population or whatever? Oh, yeah, I can't even check, unfortunately, because he's so far away from the Rangers and the Ranger posts and whatnot, right? Yeah. So let's actually speed this up a little bit. Wait for the transfer team to actually bring the other friend over here. And we'll be able to check up on uh, what this one thinks. But we do have this right here, so you think Not they'd be able to like, look through the cameras or whatever they have set up here, but I guess not. Oh, wait, no, he's moving away. What? Man, your friend, look behind you. Your friend's behind you. Man. Transportation complete. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> do I have to keep moving them? I don't want to have to keep moving them, unfortunately. I might have to. Uh, but uh, missing ground fiber. Yeah, I'm like, there's tons of ground fiber here. It's going to be more. Well, okay, well, I think they're both good right now, right? Hold on. Oh, I can't stats check on that, but there's the ranger. He's going to go connect up to the post right there, right? And they should be able to check up on. Uh, so there you go. And then he checked up on you. Perfect. Missing art forming at territory. Are they actually checking up on them? Hold on. This one right here, stats check. Oh, wait, whoops, this one right here. Uh, add task. Stats check on you, and you. There you go. I thought we were able to do that through the ranger post, but it seems like it wasn't doing that right there. Oh, vehicle under the, uh-oh, uh-oh. What is it? Velocir, oh, yep. Yep, Velociraptor. I knew it. Oh, was it the part tour? No, it was the Jeep. Oh man, yeah, see, it's dangerous to go through here, but yeah, look at them playing around right there. Whoa, what in the world happened right there? Did you guys see the Jeep flying in midair right there? That was crazy. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? Going right between two Raptors. Yeah, no wonder the heckin' vehicle's under threat, right? Oh my gosh, they knocked the doors off the tour. Whoops. <laughs> That's dangerous. Jeez. I knew they should have installed the locks on the doors, right? Golly. But, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and sure enough, dinosaurs are visible from the park door. Yeah, we have that done. Let's go back to the expedition map. What do we currently have? Tricer yeah, we already have Triceratops, Shrewdiomimus, Parasaurolophus. Yeah, that was the other one that we didn't have full genome, or at least, you know, 50% of. So let's go for an expedition there. Who was it? Papa Costa. Okay, yeah. Boom. There you go. On your own. And uh, Peca Pecorinosaurus. So that's a new species. We don't even have, like, any of their genome. And then, yeah, Dilophosaurus. See, I don't, I don't want to have the Lophosaurus and the Velociraptor in the same enclosure. Uh, we could actually do a second expedition, but I think we might need an upgrade for the expedition center to do that, right? So, let's actually get you going. It should be a fast... Yeah, see, it's about a minute or so right there. No, vehicle's under threat again. It's the Ranger Jeep again. <laughs> go home. Yeah, he's about like two-thirds health right now. Yeah, go, go, go. Fix up your Jeep. Every time you go in the heckin' Raptor den over there, you lose health on your Jeep. You have to repair it back up. But uh, we have $4 million right now. And when, like, we started out with $20 million. We did a lot of spending, right? But hopefully we actually get enough attractions to bring in even more money. And that means dinosaurs and whatnot, right? But we're working on that. Purse all of us should be fine, right? Uh, I do want to check up on the trikes again just because... Oh, yep, they're... Okay, cool. They're both right next to each other, so they're still missing ground fiber. Uh, I'm like, there's tons of ground... There's... Look at all this ground fiber around you. You not see that? <laughs> I guess not. Golly. Hold on. Ground fiber... Yeah, oh, wait, that's ground leaf. Did I put the... Oh, I must have missed placed the wrong thing or something like that. So there you go. 29% right there. Cool. There you go. 47%. And boom. 50. Oh, nice. 100% perfect. Awesome. 
check upon the fossils from the expedition. And let's process that, 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 and I guess we'll get some money out of that. Assign scientists. Who's that going to be? I guess it'll be... Yeah, we need to do rest again. Uh, let's get Wells to take care of it because he has the least unrest and he can do it on his own, which is good. Let's go back to the staff center and get them some rest just because it's been a little while and they're starting to build up some unrest. So let's make sure they're nice and taken care of. Get everyone some... I don't know if there's like an easier way to do this rather than just clicking on each one of them individually there, but uh, let's just speed through all this. Uh, no power. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a, that's a big... I'm pausing the game for that. Yeah, I'll resupply this all the way up half a million dollars. I don't care. That's a that's a big deal there. So there you go. Power back on for the electrical fences for the Velociraptor area. That's good. Might want to have to might want to make another backup generator just over here to kind of overlap and take care of both of these over here. So if this does run out of power, hopefully this other like backup generator will be able to cover for it, right? At least temporarily. So if I did place one down, it would be, I guess, here. Yeah, I, I guess we could do it here, right? So there you go. 174,000. Yeah, that's fine. I, I like having the, the, the safe of mind, the security of having like a backup backup generator for the <laughs> backup generator. I'm, I'm confusing myself. A backup backup generator for the backup generator. <laughs> Either way, new viable genome for the Perizorolibus. Now, what is that at right now? Is it something good? It's at 58%. It could be better, but I, all, most of our staff is currently busy right now anyways. So do I want to go out for another expedition with whoever isn't currently resting? Which speaking of such, do they need to go on another rest themselves? I don't know. Should we the Amimus here? First for all of us right there. Yeah, staff busy. Yeah, might just have to wait for the staff to uh, to finish their rest, which is uh, about another minute. Okay. And boom, scientist rested recovery like five of them just finished right there. Good. So synthesized dinosaur. I guess we'll get the Paris Rolfus going at 58%. That's fine. That's not that big of a deal. I'm like the Raptors at 54%. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, see, I can't change your skin still, but I guess it's good that I accidentally checked right there, right? But let's get uh, Coley. Faster synthesis. Yeah, let's get you. Start task. There you go. And start speeding through that. Yeah, we're losing money again. Hopefully this other uh, Paris office over here is going to start bringing in some more money. I don't want to have to go into debt. I don't know if you can take out loans in this right now, but uh, it's like eggs. Okay, let's get both of those. Cool. Give them a friend. Science scientists. We need five, so we could probably do that uh, with Coley once again. But let's get Armstrong for faster incubation. Boom. There you go. Cool. And then uh, we'll have all four of four species in the park. And they're all already visible from the park tour. I think I did a pretty good job. You can actually see... Stop speeding through that real quick. Where's the actual part tour uh, thing? Drive the tour vehicle, ride the part tour. Oh, here it is right here. Where are we at? Velo oh, wait, no, I was about to say, are we in the Velociraptor heckin area? But no, we're in the safe herbivore area here. So that's good. <laughs> Switch vehicle. So we're going to go. Yep, we're going up to this one. Five. Well, they both have the five right there. I don't know if that's like something they overlooked, but uh, they both have the five number in the uh, in the in the rear view mirror. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is so like nostalgic. I don't know if you can call it because I literally just watched a movie again last night. But it's so cool being inside the vehicle from the movie itself. Look at this. And a dot. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, how do I get out? Here we go. So let's release the, uh, the, the Paris for all of this. Where is it at? Right here? Oh, wait. No, that was the, uh, this is the Velociraptor area. Yeah. Hold on. I didn't see any Velociraptors just a second ago. Man. Yeah, uh, man. Hold on. Is there multiple cars? Uh, oh, yeah, there are. See, there's two over here. There's two all the way. Okay. I must have skipped ahead. Maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe this is group five or something like that. And that other one was like group four. Or so I don't know. But anyways, let's release the Paris for all of us. Or it's too late, right? But boom. There we go. Another set of... Mo oh, wow. Look at how tall they are. I'm now moments away from opening Jurassic Park. And I know here word we have sick dinosaurs. Someone offer me assurances. Of course, of course. We're on top of it. We're sending out a mobile veterinary unit from the paleo medical facility even as we speak, aren't we, Willie? Yes, of course. <laughs> They'll get us a diagnosis and then we can develop a cure for the Triceratops. Perfect. We have a plan. That means everything is completely under control. This doesn't even qualify as a minor setback. Considering all of the obstacles that have been placed before us getting Jurassic Park to this point, I'm inclined to agree. Whatever it takes, see to it. And Henry, let me know the moment this has been resolved. Understood. Lily, do carry on. Thank you. As Dr. Wu said, everything is under control. Wow, well, look at that. Looking out the window there. Undiagnosed ailment. Yeah, I, I have the MVU hopefully on their way there. Oh, wow, you, oh, you would have heard someone talking over the... Probably Hammond talking over the intercom right there. But yeah, there's the MVU all the way back there, the van. Let's speed this up a little bit to help him out a little bit quicker. Then hopefully we'll see what's wrong with the trike. And I guess, is this the end of the scenario? It might be. Ivy poisoning, dark treatment. Okay. 
So do we have the research for that? Probably not. Might need to actually start researching that. So eradicate the disease from the park. Disease dinosaurs remaining one. So are we able to do anything about that right now? Let's get the uh, MVU. Uh, add task. Do we have a cure for that? I don't think so. View research. Ivy poisoning. Uh, yep, we have to research it first. Okay, makes sense. So let's start researching that with who? It's going to be someone with three, probably. Okay, we're going to. No, no, no. Armstrong can do it on his own. Okay, cool. There you go. Take your strong arms and start researching that poison ivy there, Armstrong. <laughs> but there you go. Start uh, start speeding through this here and hopefully help out our sick triceratops a little bit quicker. Isolate them. I don't know. I'm like, it makes sense to kind of quarantine these guys when they are sick and whatnot. So it doesn't spread and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we don't really have the choice right now. We don't have like a quarantine area already set up. But look at the part tour. Uh, right, the part tour. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, look at the trike. Where's the other? I saw a shrew the Amimus just a minute ago. I don't know, but there's a trike right there, a big old trike right there. There are few species of dinosaur more recognizable than the archetypal ceratopsid triceratops. Depictions of this horned herbivore squaring off against its fierce rival Tyrannosaurus rex have captured the imaginations of adults and children alike for many a decade. <laughs> That's so true. It's like the icon. I've been saying it for years. The, the Triceratops versus the... Oh, no, don't fight. What in the world? You go, what? <laughs> They're play fighting in right now. You don't want to do that with a second. It's going to spread. <laughs> but yeah, like, like I've been saying, um, that's like the iconic fight there. The iconic battle is between a Triceratops and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So how do I do that again? Is it the Rangers that do it? Uh, add task. I think so, right? No, stance check. I'm pretty sure it's the mobile vehicle unit that does it. Add task. Um, oh, yep. There you go. Medicate. Cool. And thankfully, it didn't spread to the other one, so that's good. So let's actually speed through this again. And hopefully, we could... Oh, oh, oh. The, uh, the spare... The backup... Backup battery generator... <laughs> is out of fuel, so I uh, don't want that to run out, right? Uh, yeah, we're... We're at 2.4 million. Yeah, we're starting to run low on money again, you guys. Golly. Uh, oh, jeez. Vehicle under threat from the Raptors again. I see that. Jeez, yeah, stay away from the goats there, raptors. Stop driving through the water. It slows you down. <laughs> Jeez, making you even more vulnerable. But let's go check up on the mobile vehicle unit. Uh, direct control, where are they at? There they are. You know what? Let me let me do this myself. Let me do this myself. There he is right there. Let's get close to him. Close enough, but not too close to spook him and whatnot, right? So lock on. Boom. And need to do another one, right? Uh, you no, know, we're fine. Boom, medication successful. Awesome. Part closed. What? What happened? Oh, okay, because it hasn't opened yet. Okay, so let's open up Jurassic Park. So what do we do? Do we go to the entrance over here and, uh, yep. I'm not sure which is more miraculous. Bringing the dinosaurs back from extinction or finally opening Jurassic Park to the public. <laughs> yet here we are. Well done, John. A tribute to us all. And... To the power of dreams and to the public's ongoing fascination with these prehistoric animals may it never die truer words miss halford and now i want to watch the only thing more interesting than the dinosaurs what might that be observing people seeing dinosaurs for the first time <laughs> yeah let's open up the park you guys <laughs> oh, and having an ice cream. Come on, then. I'm buying. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. And there we go, you guys. Jurassic Park is open, finally. Whoa!